Hi, my name is Rachel, nurse practitioner and owner here at Ageless Skin Rejuvenation. This is Tristan. Today we are going to do a little forehead Botox and uh, some filler to her jawline. So we have been working on uh, her profile and she's had two previous sessions where we did a little bit of Voluma each time. We've just been slowly adding and um, just trying to get more of a defined even profile. We're going to do a little bit more today and this may be her last session. Um, we are using Voluma. Voluma is one of the Juvederm collection fillers. It's a thicker one. It's great for building, especially on, on top of bone, defining jawline, lifting cheeks. can last up to two years. Um, and then the neurotoxin we're going to be using on her forehead is Botox. All right, so I'm just going to mark her forehead first with a pencil. May have her activate her 11s. Frown or get mad for me, Tristan. And again, since I've dosed her before, we know kind of what a good dose is for her, but we look at frown or get mad one more time. We look at a couple different things when we're trying to decide the best dose. Um, so we look at how strong her muscle is, um, and an average is about 20 units, so we're going to do 20 units in here. And then raise your eyebrows really high. And for her, she already has a really pretty arch, so we're just going to soften this line, do about 10 units. Okay, a couple little pinches in between your eyebrows. Just focus on breathing. One, two, little pinch. Doing great. Two more pinches. These ones out here can be a little sensitive. You get closer to the nerve. All right, so the 11s are done. Alrighty, we're going to go across the top of your forehead here with three pinches and do one, two, little pinch. One more time, doing great. We got one more over here, okay. One, two, pinch, and then your forehead will be all done. Okay. So that's pretty much it for her forehead. Um, what we usually do is have someone come back. It, definitely if they're new to us or we're trying something new with a patient, we'll, we'll have them return in two weeks for a follow-up. Once we get kind of get to know them and know their muscle anatomy and their movements and know what a good dose is, we don't always have them come back, but we do wait a complete two weeks and see if anything settled a little funny and we can always add another unit or two if needed at the follow-up. So the little red uh, marks that you see on her forehead are usually gone within minutes typically before the person even gets to their car, but if they're not, they'll resolve shortly afterwards. Um, there's usually no residual marks after that. Sometimes there's always a risk of getting a bruise when we stick a needle on someone's forehead. But um, otherwise, the things that she does when she gets home are important. We always instruct our clients to make sure that there's no gym uh, for the rest of the day, that she does not massage, rub, or press hard on any of the injection sites and that she makes a constant effort to keep her head upright, just like she is right now. So we don't want them like going home and reading a book or looking at a computer or in their cell phone the whole day looking down. We want their head upright. And if they can do those couple things and then give it the full two weeks to kick in, things, we'll see the final result. So next we're gonna go ahead and do the Voluma that we talked about to uh, augment her profile and her chin. And again, she's had this done before and we're kind of building at this point. We always go really slow when we inject filler, looking at the surrounding tissue, making sure everything looks normal and has good perfusion. The difference between this filler and her Botox is it's gonna be pretty instant. When you do filler, what you see is what you get pretty much when you leave. Sometimes there's some sw swelling and then sometimes that's because hyaluronic acid attracts water. Sometimes you'll get a little bit more plumpness out of it.
Okay, so we are all done now. She's had her Botox in her forehead and we did another syringe of Voluma to define and augment the jawline there. Um, there's really nothing she has to worry about when she leaves us today for the filler wise. I mean, we say no major other facial procedures for two weeks, no you know, deep massaging for two weeks, but otherwise she can ice or take a little Tylenol if she's tender. Thanks for joining us today.